Hi guys, and welcome to your July slash August 2020. This is gonna be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hi Leo. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good fam bams and hello to my members. If you're connecting with Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio, their videos are up for your viewing pleasure as they were the top three, as well as their extended videos. If you are cross-watching for those energies and you would like to see if those resonate with you. Leo, you were the last video. You are my last video. Um, you would have been uploaded yesterday. I have been experiencing some technical difficulty, so that's that. Um, no worries. I want to talk to you a little bit about your energy dropping. You're typically teetering and tottering back and forth between twi uh, my uh, tier three, three and four videos anyway, but you, you've been falling. I don't know what is going on. The video last week, I feel like was a really good read, honestly. Um, and I had it up, but where is it? Even though things have reached new pinnacles, uh, reached new heights, they are still harboring past hurts. That's been coming out in your energy a lot, how someone is in love with you, on my channel anyway, um, in love with you um, and don't want to leave you, want to marry you, all of these great things, but something has taken place in the energy between you and this person that keeps them um, from thinking positive thoughts. And a lot of that is behavioral based and it's because of things that keep reoccurring between you guys. So I want you to keep that in mind. Let's see if we get better energy. We have retreat, which is good. And then we have the sun. So you are here and this is a good marriage card, enlightenment, joy, marriage, material, happiness, success, and vitality. So I am hoping that everything fares very well. So you are showing up in your reading. So I hope that this message finds you well and in good spirits. Yes, it is from July 26th until August the 1st being uploaded on August the 2nd. The messages are for you and the dates are for me. Okay, show me what they are not telling Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we do have the lovers, beautiful energy. Show me what they're not telling Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the time frame of July 26th through August the 1st. We do have, there's that Two of Swords. So there's always this, this thing that they're not telling you. And while they're blocking their emotions on something, I have no idea why. We do have the Magician. So... This is just an insecurity in this person this week. We do have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, he is accused of being the slowest moving knight of the deck. The slowest moving knight. He does like to take his time and we have her find more marriage energy. Ace of Wands is coming up at the top of the deck. Underneath that, we do have a beautiful Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles. So... Again, it's that energy of, you know, they want to transform. They have all of the tools in their arsenal to come out of this two of swords, but they're blocking their emotions. And I really do feel like it's from past hurts and things. It could be things that they perceive about you. I don't know. They're coming in wanting to marry you really strong. Okay. Wanting to believe, wanting to love. Um, they're very powerful. They have all of the tools in their arsenal to manifest the, the outcome that they want here. But there is a fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in an energy of love. And that is what that two of swords is. There is a, f a fear of failure, possibly. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. There has been some mistakes between you guys. There is a history here of up and down and all around and then judgment. Some of the same cards. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. And there is a ignorance to that card where uh, your partner is coming in. Wow, these are all of the same damn cards. 
they feel like um, it shouldn't happen to them. And then we have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight and awareness. Fear here is twice. Um, so basically uh, fear out of denial. There's an uh, ignorance and fear. Um, and then the failure, you know, there's been a lot of stops and starts between you guys. You guys have built a life together. Okay. Um, yes, you do need to retreat and refocus on one another. Um, you guys will, I mean, there are strong connotations here of marriage. There's one of them. Um, the lovers indicates the deep spiritual connection, but we do have higher fine energy here. It might be a long engagement. It might be um, a situation where they're going to take their time here um, just to be sure of a few things, Leo. Um, you know, the energy normally is very good. I just don't understand what this person is blocking. It's like they're mentally trying to block things out. Um, if there was a reconciliation, I do see Ace of Wands here. You have beautiful Ace of Wands. Um, brand new, um, passionate beginning. Okay. Um, but fear, failure, judgment, and denial has been played some major roles in this relationship with you guys. I feel like it's going to be overall successful. I have no idea what the hell the problem is. Um, you guys have beautiful, this person is very powerful in their heart. And when they set their minds to something, Leo, there is nothing that they can't accomplish. But I don't think they're quite aware of their power. Okay. Because they have all of the tools here. Okay. They have all of the tools here. But are they really tapping into the energy of the magician? Clarify the lovers. Now let's go ahead and get into the romance part of this and find out if we can get a couple more layers of clarity. We do have flirt. Extend your lighthearted, um, um, your lighthearted energy to others. I don't like that. That's the lover's energy and it's being clarified by flirt. There are these connotations that there could be some cheating. I get flirt from you a lot um, in your energy. That flirt card comes out all the time. I, I promise I'm going to start counting it. Um, I'm going to make myself a note. Count flirt for Leo's videos. I have to upload four videos in the entire month. Um, for you, one for each week. And flirt comes out all the damn time. Um, and this is why I try to get you guys to see in your videos that the person that you're connecting with has some trust issues. But what are you doing to um, to amplify those trust issues? Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They may be harboring. I don't understand why they would because they are coming in wanting to marry you and, and you guys have this established connection, but the, their feelings that they're blocking are real and worth exploring. That just, it's like the blind leading the blind here. Trust. See? It's back out. This person has, I believe it's 50 and 50. They, it, it's some things that you're doing in your behavior that is amplifying some of this. And this is the, 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 the inadequacies that they bring to the party that got them in this energy. I'm just going to put it out there. Clarify Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is being clarified by make the effort. Make the effort. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Clarify the hair font. Trust didn't come out in those cards though, but retreat. We have it twice. Okay. Your person thinks that you're too preoccupied with everybody else. Express your love. So they are going to be expressing some things. I think they're really struggling between understanding that love is not ownership. Love is not based upon ownership. And someone is really struggling with that notion. Your key words are flirt, <laughs> romantic feelings, trust, make the effort, retreat is here twice. Fear is here twice. Um, there is a... Um, there is a energy of expression because someone is blocking. 
What am I going to do with you guys? It's like the same story. Uh, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go ahead and just get, because I can't with this. Retreat. We're going to just go in with the sacred soulmates. I'm going to clarify flirt. Oh, this is true love. This is a divine connection. I'm going to clarify romantic feelings. I'm just going to clarify all five of them. Reconciliation, the return of a past soulmate. That is what is clarifying the two of swords. So they are afraid that someone else is going to come back into your life that you loved, Leo. That's why they keep blocking this out. So in essence, they're, they are definitely holding back the fact that they're afraid that a, um, a soulmate is going to come back. Clarify trust. That's the reason why they're not trusting themselves. That was over. Wow. That's the reason why they're not trusting themselves to use the, the, the tools that they have. They already have the tools, but they don't. There we go. Triggers. So emotional baggage is running the show. Re retrain the internal so the external can change. They have been cheated on. Okay. They have issues that, and, and there's something that has taken place between you guys, Leo, either with you two or with what happened previously that they cannot turn a loose. Okay. That's the issue. Clarify, make the effort. Addictions. Physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts or other negative patterns of behavior are affecting this connection. Clarify retreats. White flag. Someone wants another chance to make things right. The desire to do things better. And this is the purpose of this retreat. Um, your key words here are flirt, romantic feelings, trust, make the effort and retreat. Your second layer of clarification is true love, reconciliation, triggers, addictions, and white flags. And then I'm going to, okay, lessons of Uranus with this um, Ace of Wands energy. Radical attraction and sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment, a theme of freedom or commitment. No expectations are the best expectations to have. Um, and that is what they want to, um, they, they need to express to you. See, this is what they haven't been telling you. They really don't trust you deep down inside. And it's based upon some things that happened in the past and their emotional baggage. You guys have a strong sexual pull toward one another and they're questioning whether this relationship can sustain the fact that I feel like there was a reconciliation or there was some type of cheating that took place in this relationship and they're there with it. They do want someone externally can want another chance. Leo, you could have been forthcoming and turned that person down and told that person to go and kick rocks. But unfortunately, in doing so, it still doesn't convince your partner. And for some of you, this situation came up before where you were not as strong and you fed into it. You guys could have been on a break. Some of you guys really take the word breakup very seriously. If we broke up for two weeks, that does not give you carte blanche, especially if there's no closure, to go out and jay down with somebody else. Now, that's a Chicago term. I'm sorry. To involve yourself sexually with someone else. Now, at the same time, with some of you guys, it does. I'm not fire. So you're impulsively find yourself keeping it moving that way. I'm a little bit different, so it has nothing to do with me. That's what I'm saying. Top of the deck is divine masculine, so that lets me know that the masculine energy here is actually who is the offender. <laughs> so you guys let me know. 
Um, like I said, and I keep trying to tell you guys, they are afraid that you are going to reconcile with someone from the past. They don't think that you're over your past. Either you're not over the past that you have with them so you guys can really move on, Leo, which I do not think that that's the case, or they don't think that you're over your ex from the past. Either way, they are blocking certain things out um, and they have this, this, this notion in their head that they're going to tell you how they feel, but they're not because they're afraid. So they show you things sexually um, and that you, you can't build a relationship off of good sex, unfortunately, just my opinion. Um, so that is what's going on. Like, share, subscribe to the marvelous tribe. If you're interested in knowing how this person, um, their attachment style is, then go ahead and click the link below and, um, kind of answer, answer those questions truthfully so it can give you the attachment style. Okay. And then you can also do one for yourself and kind of see what you're, what you're up against, what you're contending with. Okay. Um, to everyone else. I will see you guys next week when we do it again, Leo. I need to see you back up at least the top of top three. I'm sorry, the top of tier three, which is the third set of videos that normally go out. That's where I need to see you. I don't want to see you being my last video, okay? Um, you And also go and watch last week's video too. What's the problem? Like I said, they are still harboring past hurts. I, I, it's like the same damn thing every week. At least with me going in with the sacred soulmate, it let me know why. Trust is here again. Trust is here. Okay. Fear and failure, failure and denial, all of these things. So, you know, if this resonates with you, maybe we need to speak about it um, to everyone else. I will see you guys next week when we do it again. Top of the month readings, what I used to call them. Three in one, we're going to be taking a look at your monthly money. We're going to be taking a look at your monthly singles and your weekly love. All right. See you soon. Bye, Leo.